Hi friends, welcome to Live Stream Live with Angie. Today, um, well actually, we are in the month of March and the um, month of March is Nutrition Month. Last week, we did talk with Dana Pierce, who is our Nutrition Administrator for Livestream Services. But this week, we have April Nixon, who is here with Trio Community Meals. And so she's going to be talking with us today about the partnership um, that they have with Livestream Services about uh, the meal preparation. So thank you, April, for joining us today. And uh, uh, why don't we start off with, um, you know, you telling us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is April. I've been with TRIO for about five years. Um, I've recently been promoted to a production supervisor. Um, I think that's it. I have two boys. Um, that's it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Um, so congratulations then on the recent promotion. That's great Thank news. You. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Trio community, though, is a very busy place because uh, you do um, the meal preparations for live stream services. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, so uh, Trio community is how, how long has Trio been a partner with live stream? Do you we opened, I'm sorry. We opened this location in 2012 to start serving live stream. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So, um, and this is all done through contractual services. Correct. Okay, perfect. And uh, so then, um, okay, so you said 2012 is when this started? Mm -hmm. All right, so how much has this grown throughout the years from 2012 to currently? Okay, um, in 2012, we started by just producing the meals for live stream and they would deliver their own. About a year into it, we went from just producing the meals to delivering them. Wow. Um, and in 2017, we also acquired Area 9, which kind of really vamped things up. Sure, sure. Okay. So you guys then, because Livestream Services does cover 12 counties, um, providing assistance for. And uh, do you guys cover those full 12 counties of um, providing meals? We do. Perfect. Okay. All right. And um, as far as a typical day in the kitchen for Trio, um, how does that look? What time do you guys start? What time does the, the operation end? We usually begin our day at about 5 a.m. Um, it's just myself and Matthias and then our other supervisor and then our cook comes in at about 5. Then we have more people come in at 6 and more people that come in at 7, but everybody's usually here by 7. Mm -hmm. um, we start cooking at five. It's usually ready to start preparing at about seven. Um, you know, but between five and seven, it's kind of like an all hands on deck. We're trying to get the boxes ready for today. Drivers are trying to load. We're trying to get all the paperwork ready. Our cook's trying to get the meals ready for us to do that. Um, and then afterwards, we just, things kind of calm down. We spend the rest of the day, you know, plating the meals and bagging our breads and, and getting prepared for the next day. And then we're usually off by 2 p.m. Wow. wow, a long day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But and the final reward, though, knowing though that you're providing a service, though, for individuals within the community, I'm sure it's a great feeling knowing that, though. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as far as the meal preparation, do you guys do uh, meals from scratch? Is some of it, you know, prepared, you know, ahead of time? How, how does that go with you guys? We try to make as much from scratch as possible. Like all of our gravies, our barbecue sauces, anything that we can make from scratch, we, we really do. We take a lot of pride in that actually. That's great. It, it gives us a great quality of food. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and there's nothing better than, you know, more of a home cooked meal, um, you know, being received. So um, as far as um, though the meals going out, um, is it just a single meal or is it a, a five-day meal pack? How, what kind of preparation does TRIO do for us? We used to offer a single day when we had the, the senior centers, but since COVID's kind of got everything shut down a little bit, we're, we're basically just sending out frozen right now. Mm -hmm. um, the smallest amount that we offer is a two-pack, but we go all the way up to seven and sometimes even 14, depending on the funding. Okay. Um, so it really just depends on what kind of funding you have, but there are definitely options there. Perfect. Wow. That's great to hear. Sure. Okay. 
Um, and how many meals are prepared throughout your kitchen then? We produce about 2,200 a day. Um, you know, it's kind of hit and miss as to how many are going out that specific day, but we, we feed about 2,000 people. That is a lot of meals. Yeah. It is. yeah. With a short number of staff, though, that you guys have. So you guys got a pretty good production line rolling, I'd yeah. assume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And hopefully, like we had talked earlier, though, is, um, you know, when things do slow down and, and we can be out, um, I know right now Trio is um, going, the kitchen is going through some renovation work and everything. Uh, but the goal is, is for us, for myself to be able to come into Trio and do a complete live tour of the building and actually watch how you guys are actually starting your day and preparing the meals and packing them up and everything. But um, for as a, as a substitute for today, though, we do have some pictures, though, that we'll be sharing with everyone uh, so they can see a little bit of how TRIO does things. So, yeah, pretty exciting. Um, so as far as I know you did talk about COVID and, you know, a little bit, though, how you um, how our cafe sites um, had to shut down. So we were making, you know, we had to make some modifications. Um, how has COVID affected TRIO with the meal pr preparations? Um, as far as what happens in the kitchen, it's just, you know, your day-to-day -day things, cleaning, sanitizing, you know, disinfecting, wearing masks. Um, and my drivers, I think my drivers have a little bit worse. Um, we have face shields for them. They have masks in their vehicles. They have hand sanitizer in their vehicles. You name it, we've done it. We're, we're trying to keep everybody sure. safe because it's not uncommon for my drivers to come in contact, just one single driver with 55 seniors. And, you know, some of them, you don't have the option of not going in their house because they're unable to put the meals away. So I feel like it's really affected the drivers a lot more than anybody else, but we're hanging yeah. in there. We've adjusted and we've switched our whole kitchen from serving hot meals to strictly frozen meals and our home delivered counts have nearly doubled since last March. We went from serving like I believe close to 400 people last March and we're approaching 800 right now. So that's not, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, again, you know, the goal is, is to keep everyone home safe for now. And um, so, you know, for us to increase the meals and, and to provide the service so that way they can, you know, receive the nutritional values that they need and, and remain independently. We're going to do it the best to our ability. So, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I didn't realize, though, that we had increased that significantly. Yeah. So, wow. Um, so, yeah, so we did talk about the meals per day. Um, but not only, though, does TRIO um, contract with Lightstream Services, you do um, contract with other organizations um, for, um, you know, services. Ex mm -hmm. um, and you had mentioned for disabled individuals as well? Yes. Um, we contract for Medicaid waivers, the age to disabled waivers. Okay. All right. Okay. So you provide service for many different organizations around then? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, is there anything else then, um, though, that you would like to share about TRIO, you know, as far as what goes on or anything like that? Um, I, it's just a really great place, honestly. It, you feel like you're such a part of the community. Um, we have expanded. When we first started serving, we were only serving seven counties. And then now in 2021, we've expanded and we're serving 23 counties, which boils down to being like a quarter of Indiana's counties, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Man. Well, um, like I said, though, we do have pictures so that we are going to be sharing, you know, as far as, you know, what it does look like in um, the trio kitchen and um, some of the staff, you know, boxing up the meals and, you know, getting ready to go out for delivery. Um, and, and one of the things, though, is for delivery, how does that look when you guys are going out? Um, do you guys have um, temperature controlled vehicles? Um, you know, how, what types of vehicles do you guys use? The majority of our vehicles are freezer vehicles. Um, mm -hmm. We do have two vehicles that are not frozen vehicles. Um, however, we have like 
refrigerator blankets, we ice our milk, we do a couple of things and we keep those routes relatively small. Um, we just kind of had to adapt since those ones were specifically to serve hot meals. And now we're trying to switch them over to serve frozen meals, but the majority of our clients are delivered on frozen vehicles. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, you know, and the goal is, is though for us, you know, to eventually to get back to some normalcy and to uh, hopefully provide more hot nutritional meals. Um, and, and speaking of though about the meals, um, the meals are, or as far as the menu, it is prepared by a registered dietitian um, that you guys have in-house. Is that correct? Or um, She is corporate, but we are in really contact with her. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's very important because um, the meals are, you know, prepared though, like I said, by the registered dietitian, uh, which, uh, you know, is expected to follow the federal guidelines, you know, through the Older Americans Act. Um, so, you know, it, it's making sure though, that we follow the proteins and the fibers and the dairies and, and our fruits and vegetables, um, you know, and trying to make the meals appealing and creative and also seasonal, because as we know, though, in the summertime, we want more of the colder foods than the warmer foods. So, um, yeah, making sure though, that we do all that and just have a great time and, you know, hoping everyone enjoys the meals. So. Um, but yeah, no, thank you again, April, you know, for joining us. Um, Trio does have a life book or a life book, a Facebook page, um, also on, on, and an Instagram. Um, and they uh, offer um, live cooking demos at times. So if you're interested in checking to see, you know, what their uh, chefs have going on or, you know, some of the demos, check them out on their Facebook and Instagram to see what's going on in the TRIO community meal world. So thank you again, April, for joining us. I do appreciate it. Thank you.